On World Water Day, a day aimed at highlighting the importance of fresh water to our lives and livelihoods, I want to bring attention to the plight of the Iranian people. The regime has severely mismanaged water resources in Iran for the past 40 years, and today we are seeing devastating effects. Lakes that once inspired Persian poetry, like Lake Urmia, are now dry salt mounds. Lush valleys that once produced bountiful crops have turned to sand. The livelihoods of millions have been devastated, and many more have been forced to flee the country. Corruption lies at the heart of the problem. Before the 1979 revolution, Iran had seven ancient dams and just 14 modern ones. Today, the Ayatollah's regime has built around 600 dams. And these dams are not based on sound environmental policy, and they weren't built to help the Iranian people. They were built so that Iranian regime officials could line their pockets with more money from lucrative construction projects. Many of the firms that built the dams are linked to the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, which has its hand in up to 80% of Iran's economy. This has pushed Iran to the brink of environmental catastrophe. The Iranian people are speaking out, especially in the hardest hit areas around central Isfahan and in Khuzestan province. In Isfahan, farmers have protested the drying out of the Zayende Rud River Basin. In Khuzestan, large-scale desertification and industrial waste have forced farmers onto the streets to protest against the diversion of their water resources. These acts of peaceful protest have been met with force and repression by the regime. The clerical establishment simply does not tolerate dissent on this issue. In 2018, Iran arbitrarily detained more than 60 environmentalists, rangers, and their relatives. Some, like Canadian-Iranian Kavus Syed Imami, died in custody under mysterious conditions. Today on World Water Day, we call on the Iranian regime to think about its people for once. Millions of Iranians are unable to feed their families because their land is unable to produce crops. Millions more could be forced to leave their homes in search of clean drinking water, as many already have. The United States understands the challenges the Iranian people face, and we can help. If the regime is willing to move beyond 40 years of failure and invest in its people's prosperity, great things can happen. Restored U.S.-Iranian relations could bring a new age of innovation and growth to Iran. It could even help address many of the country's most pressing issues, including its environmental challenges. It is now up to the Supreme Leader to determine the course that he wants to chart. He can continue to invest in Hezbollah and the Houthis in Yemen, or in the proud tradition of noble leaders like Cyrus the Great. He can start to invest closer to home and in his own people. Iranians in Isfahan, Khuzestan, and elsewhere are waiting, and they deserve better.